Step 1. Downloading FFmpeg. Open the FFmpeg download site. Go to https ffmpeg.zerino.com slash builds in your computer's web browser. Although there is a dedicated ffmpeg website, the file that you can download from the won't work with Windows 10. Click download build. It's a blue button on the right side of the page. FFmpeg will begin downloading onto your computer. Depending on your browser's settings, you may first have to select a save location or confirm the download. Step 2. Place FFmpeg to C drive folder. Open the FFmpeg download folder. Extract the FFmpeg folder. You can use your computer's built-in unzip feature to do this. Rename the extracted folder. In the window that opens, you'll see a folder entitled from your FFmpeg package download. You'll need to rename this folder to FFmpeg. Copy the FFmpeg folder. Select the FFmpeg folder if it isn't already selected. Up this PC. Open your hard drives folder. Paste in the FFmpeg folder. This will paste the copied FFmpeg folder into your computer's hard drive folder. Step 3. Enabling FFmpeg in the command line. Up this PC. The computer. This tab is in the upper left side of the This PC window. Click Properties. It's a red check mark on a white box that you'll find in the upper left side of the window. Doing so opens the Properties window. Click Advanced System Settings. This link is in the upper left side of the Properties window. Click Environment Variables you'll find this button near the bottom of the windows. Doing so opens yet another windows. If you don't see this option, first click the Advanced tab at the top of the windows. Double click the Path value. You'll find this value in the User Variables for section at the top of the windows. This will open the Path Variables windows. Click New. It's on the right side of the windows. This will create a new text field in the windows. Enter the path to the FFmpeg library. Type C, FFmpeg, bin, into the text field, then click OK. Click OK on both open windows. At this point, FFmpeg is enabled for command prompt, though you're free to test FFmpeg to ensure that it's installed correctly. Step 4. Testing FFmpeg. 
open start. Click the Windows logo in the bottom left corner of the screen. Search for command prompt. Type in command prompt into start. This will bring up the command prompt app icon at the top of the start menu. Open command prompt in administrator mode. Right click command prompt at the top of the menu, then click run as administrator and click yes when prompted. Check your FFmpeg version. Type in FFmpeg version and press enter. This should bring up a list of information about FFmpeg. If you instead see the phrase FFmpeg is not recognized as an internal or external command, operable program or batch file appear, you may have misspelled the path name. Thanks for watching. And, don't forget to subscribe.